Well, they are being called champions in the fight against COVID-19. And right now, more than 5,000 respiratory therapists are going hospital to hospital, patient to patient here in Indiana, treating those with coronavirus and those who are struggling to breathe. CBS 4's Angela Brower shows you why their job is one of the riskiest. Right now, somewhere in this country, a respiratory therapist is just inches away from a coronavirus patient's face. They're placing that individual on a ventilator so that they're no longer gasping for air. We are the unsung heroes. That is how people are describing respiratory therapists these days. They're the healthcare workers that intubate and monitor a patient's lungs and determine whether that ventilator is even working. Whenever you're losing a patient, no matter if it's COVID or any time, it's, it's emotional. Tonight, we're getting to see the photos, the faces of Hoosiers who are truly putting their lives on the line to save others. One therapist, a patient needed immediate attention right then, and they did not put their PPE on, went into the room, and they were sent home. We're told that RT didn't get sick, but it's always a possibility. What's the biggest risk? The respiratory therapist probably spends more time in the room with a patient uh, that has a respiratory disease like COVID-19 more than the doctor and more even sometimes than the nurse. And while we know doctors, nurses, and respiratory therapists are working really long hours, wearing their PPE all day long, what I didn't realize is just how much it is and how long it takes to put it all on and then back off again. RTs have to change and wash their hands two to three times between every single patient. If they touch anything in the hospital room that isn't the person, then they have to change their gloves. Just imagine that. They tell me that process with the strict guidelines, it really slows them down. But the rules that they all have to follow in order to protect themselves and our loved ones. In the newsroom, I'm Angela Brower, CBS 4 News.